to the E, to the E, man. Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? Had a nigga in the truck, where the wood at? All the niggas acting up, where the wood Ooh, what's up, Internet? Welcome back to another Thrifting in Connecticut. Here I am at my most local of Goodwills, and I've just pulled a stack of PS1 games out of one of their carriages, or carts or whatever, and we've got Soviet Strike, what the fuck, Triple Play 98, what do they got going on here? we got Soviet Strike with the manual, but with the back cover art, what is this one? There it is! So I gotta do a little bit of uh, swapping here, but we got Soviet Strike for the PS1 for two bucks. What do I spy with my little eye up there in that right corner? Looks like a charger for a Game Boy Advance SP. Of course, I gotta wait my turn over here. And let's see what it is, let's see what it is. There it is, with the charger. Oh, wow, look at that, that, god damn it. Anyways, for 15 bucks, the original Cobalt Blue Game Boy Advance SP, in pretty good shape, is not a bad deal whatsoever. Yep. Unfortunately, not and all there's a hook in the thing. Oh, really? Yep. They also have dangling here some Game Boy games. Tetris for $5. Hamtaro for the Game Boy Color for $5. Some reason I picked that up. I do remember watching that show way back in the day. Thank you. And the girl that was helping me out here mentioned that they had a whole mess of Game Boy Advance and DS games up by the counter in a basket. Unfortunately, they're all fucking shovelware, cats, dogs, I think there was some Scooby-Doo's. Midnight Club, they're probably the best game in the entire pile. Carnival racing of some sort. Uh, I looked through everything here and it was all garbage, so we passed. An odd sight at my neighbors. Sega Genesis cartridges. Royal Rumble for four dollars. What else do we have here? Oh, NBA Jam Tournament Edition for $4, not exactly something I need to pick up. I definitely don't hold on to oh, no, loose Sega Genesis cartridges, so not something I would ever really pick up unless it was a good recouper. What else do we have here? Looking for all the CDs, looking for all the CDs, anything worth it. I think there's like a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater up there that's been there for a few weeks that I haven't picked up. Not much else. Holy shit, talk about a motherfucking blast from the past. It's the party wagon, the turtle wagon, the peach wagon, I forget what this is called. I still even had this when I was fucking five years old. We got kids over here that are like going crazy on all these toys, riding them around. I used to do that in the house with us. I used to like lay across the back of this. Who would think that I was actually small enough for that at some point in my life? And I used to just race around the house on the back of this thing. It's fucking crazy. I might get this just for nostalgia's sake. Only five bucks. And here, this Goodwill has been caught slipping. We got sealed motor storm. The first time I've ever seen a Vita game out on a random shelf. Luckily, I was the one that happened to cross it and not some hooligan who was just gonna pocket the game. Cause that'd be the easiest thing to do. And fucking Ghostbusters on the PlayStation 3. At this Goodwill, they usually keep stuff in the case, so I definitely caught them slipping there. At this particular Goodwill, I wasn't going to pick anything up until I saw this game in the case. Nuclear Strike. Wow, I said that like I was a fucking uneducated moron. Nuclear Strike. For the PlayStation 1. How odd that I would find it in the same video that I got Soviet Strike. Of course, they got their, you know, Target Reject, NBA 2K, whatever. But for $3, considering it paints a pretty good picture that I already got 
Soviet strike. I had to pick up a nuclear strike here. Definitely not a bad deal for three bucks. Holy shit, have I hit a lot of thrift stores in this episode. This is over the course of two weeks, I believe. At this particular saver, they apparently think they have gold with these Atari cartridges. They can stay there forever, although the way it works is next time I'll be there, someone will have picked them up. Wow, I can't remember the rest of the song. Let's get to the pickups. Goal! Yeah, our pickups are uh, back to being on, on fleek, on fire, fleeking, streaking. Who gives a fuck? We're finding some stuff. <sighs> Sam and Alicia actually used to always get on me about not paying attention to certain things at thrift stores and you know the flea market and other places like that. Finally picked up a TI oh, TI 84 uh, plus silver edition, which the time when I checked it in the thrift store went for at least $50, I think. Three dollars at the thrift store. Definitely gonna pick that up if it's gonna basically cover everything I buy in this episode. Also for three dollars at that thrift store, I picked up a DVD, Pokemon the first movie, Mewtwo versus Mew. It actually was three bucks in perfect shape and even came with the trading card. I honestly, I don't remember well, I don't remember because I don't know which card this is. I'm tempted to open this up, but if I use this as a recouper, it would probably help me if I, you know, leave that intact. It's not like I play the game anymore. Shout out to you if you uh, used to play the Pokemon trading card game when you were a kid. Next up, picked up PlayStation 1 game that I actually saw them bring out on the carts. And I had to do quite a bit of work to get this to be complete because they had it mixed up with a MLB game of some sort so I had to swap the cover had to swap the back case whatever but for two bucks got Soviet strike this one's actually gonna be heading over to Rob Mitchell because he doesn't have it for his collection and another interesting thing I'm realizing that I actually have more pickups than I originally thought I did Ah, here we go. At a different thrift store, on a different day, I also picked up Nuclear Strike. This one was three bucks. He already has this one, so I'm going to be holding on to it. I remember these games being advertised a lot in magazines, and they always look cool, but I never played them. Never had a chance to rent them, anything like that. Uh... At a different thrift store I, I i have so many thrift stores that i found stuff at that i can't keep it straight what order you saw it in so i'm just grabbing stuff uh for 20 dollars total got a game boy advance sp for 15 and hamtaro ham hams unite i only picked this up because it's a game boy color game i remember watching the show it was pretty cute pretty cool and the cool thing about this game boy advance sp Came with the charger, which you almost never see now. And I'll be honest, I, I stopped recording because I got a phone call like 20 minutes ago. Don't know where I left off. But $15 for a Game Boy Advance SP with the charger. And works perfectly fine. Can't complain about that. It's a perfect recouper any day of the week. At the thrift store that has had some really overpriced NES games lately, they had some random PS3 and a PlayStation Vita game that actually made it out onto their shelf. Wasn't behind the case or anything. I was very surprised to see these. We got Uncharted, Golden Abyss. 
for five dollars which I actually have that sealed so I'll use the sealed one as a recouper and that will pretty much pay for all three of these games which is pretty cool uh, we got a sealed motor storm not for resale for five dollars um, I've heard good things about motor storm I might keep this might sell it I don't know I figure an open copy would probably be very cheap to come by but one game I'm very excited to get Ghostbusters the video game this is the real Ghostbusters 3 from what I've heard and I believe it only ever went down to about $17 at GameStop so for five bucks at a thrift store in perfect shape I can't complain about that and as you saw earlier a mother fucking blast from the past the turtle wagon turtle mobile yeah, I was kind of conflicted as to what the actual name of this is. I haven't looked it up. Pretty sure they used to call it the Turtle Wagon. Turtle Mobile. Let me know in the comments below, because I, I honestly, off the top of my head, I probably called it both things in the past. Really nice. Well, these are never in really great shape because this door hinge thing with the uh, the seat on it for like attack mode or whatever always falls off mine fell off probably within a week of owning it when i was a kid and this one's actually in nice shape compared to the one that i probably beat the fuck out of trying to ride around on top of it so i can't complain five dollars that's like one of my first nostalgic toy buys in a very long time don't intend to resell it just wanted to have it couldn't leave it behind so let me know what you've found at your thrift stores lately like the video, subscribe if you're new, and as always, keep it real.